Uh, good evening, everybody. So, what is happening? This is uh, just me playing Dream Daddy. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit PG. It's been a while since I last recorded, just checking stream settings and stuff. All right, so far, so good. All right, stream quality looks good. How do I go back to the thingies? There's the thingies. Yes, okay. There's the thingies. All right, so many things. All right, let's try this. Now, it's been a while since I've played this game, and so last time I remember, I went on the first date with Damien, and stuff happened, and the first date with Brian, stuff happened, and, uh... Uh, we went to George Clooney's house for pasta. <laughs> um, yes, let's see here. I want to load the state. Yeah, it's been over a, it's been a month, dang. So it's been a while. Okay, let's let's get back on let's get back on the scene. Let's get back on the scene. Alrighty, so <coughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, Craig sent me another thing. Hello, Craig, what's up? Uh <laughs> oh, dude, no, no, this is, this is too, too true to life already, like, I just logged on, and this is not, um, I do have the thing, I'll grab to the store and get you a real chunky milkshake, chicory, cherry licorice, what is, oh, no, wow, I combined two words right there, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumble that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these, what? Oh, as in he wants to go running with me. Ah ha ha ha, Mr. Fitness Man. And me, Mr. Um, incontinent. Or, yeah. Wouldn't that make it worse? Oh, it's not for the diarrhea milkshake, you're just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? By, I've got the runs, I meant I feel like running. Um. Uh... Want to come with me to the gym? Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you home remedies for diarrhea? Aw, oh, come on, man. It'll be fun. You know what? Sure. What are we doing this? Uh, there's 30 more minutes left in this uh, meat hell marathon. I'm outside right now. I'm warming up. Okay, okay, okay. But at least get, let me uh, see if uh, Betty gets away from the wolves in time to get her uh, sopra sata wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. <laughs> All right, let's let's go hang out with Craig. I hang out with Craig enough on non dates that I feel like I don't want to even touch, deal with him for regular dates. What is this? Is this like uh, is this another video game thing? Oh, the gym just installed these new virtual walking treadmills. We'll feel like we're running outdoors. You can see other runners on your screen too. Let's try it out together. Other runners, will I be able to keep up? Don't worry, we're here to chew each other on. I'll be here with you. <coughs> Just get a rhythm going, keep your heart rate up, but don't overexert yourself. You do great. How do I? Run that dad. I don't know what I'm doing. Is this a good? Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Oh man, there's a lot of cucumbers that just happened. Oh man, we high fived each other. This is like we we sports, but weird weird sports. More more like we not we sports. Oh, this is weird. This is this is so weird. I'm like running with my friend. Oh, gotta keep my heart pace heart me down a little bit. What's my prime zone? I don't know what my prime zone is. Okay, I'm gonna try and oh cool it down a little bit. We're going up a hill. Okay, keep it cool it down a little bit. There we go. Now we know we're on flatland. Let's try pumping it up a little bit. Pump it up. Pump it up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, my heart is beating so fast for Craig right now. I need to slow down. I need to slow down. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, but I'm just kind of like constantly just like tapping. You can tell what I'm doing. I'm kind of like just tapping this on the keyboard on the controller thing. All right, we're okay. Come keep down a little bit. Uh, I don't know how we're doing compared to everybody else. I think we're doing fine. We're running going downhill. We can, can go a little bit better downhill. All right, keep it flat, keep it flat. There's everybody, there's everybody. 
Don't overexert yourself. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh man, here we go. Here is cucumber time. Eggplant time. Oh man. Is this the home stretch? Is this a thing? Is this a race? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, which way do we go, man? Which way do we go? Okay, I'm following you, Craig. You know which way to go. I'm gonna follow you, cause you know where to run to. And if I don't, if I tried running on my own, I would get lost so fast. Um, I think I'm doing this right. I don't honestly don't know. Okay, I can up my heartbeat a little bit. Oh man, we just beat somebody. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. We are teaming up. We're teaming up. We're the team to beat. I love how this music sounds so much like Wii Sports too. That's great. Oh man, we just beat somebody. Now we're ahead of I don't know who. How much longer is this? I can only keep this up for so long. My stamina. I am not a runner. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, keep it at about keep it keep a steady pace. Don't overexert. Don't overexert. If we don't win the race, that's fine. We don't have to win every race. All right, bro, let's go. Oh man. Oh no. Why are we going uphill? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the finish line? Is that the finish line? How do we do? Oh, I did super duper good. Way to go. Welcome. You got I did running with Craig. I am not running with Craig for another date. Okay, so um, in terms of things that I wanted to do today, I did want to go on a date with Robert or Hugo. Or jo I really don't want to hang with Joseph. Joseph is just—I mean, Joseph's probably like the weird story that pays off in the end. But at the same time, I don't even want to get near that business. Um, Let's try Hugo, because Hugo was with Damien the day before, and, I mean, Hugo and I don't have a whole lot in common, but, uh, let's see here, paint miniatures, he lacks muscles, I ain't got muscles, I got the opposite of muscles, and that's okay, because some people like the opposite of muscles, and that's okay. <clears throat> um, alright, let's, let's send Hugo a message, just to see how things are going, all right, this is definitely not what I was thinking of on my first day back on the scene, but you know what? Let's just keep trying. Let's keep trying this. Oh boy. Okay. As for the next date, I think I'll try uh, Robert? Question mark, question mark. I navigate to the Hugo's data book page and type out a message. Hey Hugo, great seeing you at the barbecue. Uh, wanna hang out sometime? I wait for a few minutes before the computer dings. I'm so glad you messaged me, and I definitely want to hang out sometime, but I have a favorite ask. Our class is going on a field trip to the aquarium today, and one of our chaperones called in sick. Is there any possible way that you could come out and replace them? <sighs> uh oh. Well, we do get to go to the aquarium. Uh, I completely understand if you don't want to or can't make it, but I'm going to be honest with you here. It's the middle school class. I need as much help as I can get. I think about it for a moment. Oh, man, that's a lot of screaming kids that I would be accountable for. And they are in middle school, the worst age to be. Amanda silently trudges into the kitchen and pours herself some cereal. Uh, morning, Amanda. Morning, Pops. Hey, how was middle school for you? Um, bad, but nobody likes middle school. It's three years of acne, crying, and being generally terrible. Everyone sucks. There's no self-awareness. It's just a bunch of hormonal teenagers locked in a gross building for like 40 hours a week, doing long division and starting fights over, I don't know, pizza day and top 40 pop? Ah, uh, middle schoolers should be avoided at all costs. What was your middle school experience like? I thought it was fine. There was nothing really out of the ordinary for me. I had friends who... Oh no, they all wronged me in some way, shape, or form. They were terrible. And wait. I was terrible to them, too. It's all rushing back. Middle school was awful. I had repressed it for so long. Dad, did we just have a breakthrough? I think we did. You see, middle schools are reprehensible. 
Wait, why are you asking me about middle school? Uh, Mr. Vega requested me to help chaperone his middle school class to the aquarium. Just wanted to know what I was in for. You get to go to the aquarium? Are you kidding me? The last field trip I got onto was to the clam chowder factory. They didn't even give us clam chowder. They gave us square pizza at the clam chowder factory. Oh, is that why you don't eat clam chowder anymore? No, it's because Bobby Wellingham threw up into one of the vats of clam chowder, and I'm the only one who saw it happen. It haunts me. Right, let's leave that story firmly in the past. Anyway, you, sh you should just do it. Mr. Vega sounds like he could really use the help. Plus, you get to hang out with some cool fish. Amanda, I get kind of weird about aquariums. The ocean makes me nervous. What, are you worried a whale's gonna pop out of, you out of the touch tank and swallow you? Don't you put fear in my heart. Well, do they have penguins? Yes. Yes, they have penguins there. <laughs> then it's settled. Penguins outweigh the fear of the ocean. I sit back at the computer and let Hugo know I am available. Yeah, I let him know I'm available. Uh, he tells me to meet him at the aquarium and gives me the address. I grab my keys and kiss a man on the forehead before heading out. I arrive at the aquarium to find that the buses have beaten me there. Pre-teens huddle around their teachers in small groups, yelling at each other and goofing off. Every teacher is at their wit's end. <sighs> Hugo jogs up to me, frazzled. I'm so glad you're here. Hugo! Oh, no. It's It's been a debacle all morning. We're shorthanded and most of the kids will not stop screaming, as I'm sure you know is the case with all middle scores. I lived through Amanda at 12. I am all too familiar. <sighs> Great, well, it's uh, you and me chaperoning a group of ten there over there. Hugo walks me over to a gaggle of preteens who are all sitting on the ground and playing with their phones. They're not kicking each other like some of the other groups, so, you know, good start. Hmm. Can you guys put your phones away? All of the kids look up for a moment to stare at them, then they go back to texting. At least they're quiet? Oh. Too quiet. These guys are up to something, I can feel it. There's no way. They're too busy thinking about getting food stuck in their braces to pull any stunts. It, it's middle school. Eh, we'll see. The classes start filing into the aquarium, and Hugo hands out massive staple packets of paper to each kid. These are due at the end of the field trip. Yes, these are for a grade. No, you can't borrow a pencil. The kids collectively groan and grab the sheets from Hugo. What's in the packet? Honestly, it's just busy work so that the teachers can have a moment's reprieve. I think one of the questions asks them to sit quietly for 10 minutes and to think about the Great Barrier Reef. Teacher hacks. I like it. Wait, I thought you were an English teacher. What does the aquarium have to do with books? Uh, we just did a unit on the old man in the sea. Nothing quite like introducing kids to future, uh, futile perseverance of a human spirit by making them pet stingrays. Oh. <sighs> Gives us a chance to check out some of the exhibits as well. Come on, they have a phenomenal selection on tropical fish. While the kids sit on the floor and pretend to do their assignments while texting, Hugo and I wander over to a large tank filled with brightly colored fish. Hugo points to a brown and white fish with long spinies. That is a lionfish. Did you know that their stomachs can expand up to 30 times in size? Whoa. Hmm. Their spines are venomous too. Nature is hardcore. Ah. You think that's bad? Look at this one over here. Hugo points to a spiny, grumpy-looking fish uh, hanging out near the bottom of the hey. tank. That is a stonefish, the most venomous fish in the world. Venomish. Venom. Venomous. Venomous fish. Venomous. Venomous. Okay, I've been invented a word now. Uh, and they just, like, keep it there? Uh, oh, they're relatively harmless as long as you don't step on them. And if you step on them... Oh, tissue necrosis! Um, cool. <laughs> Nature is wild. Um, Hugo seems to know a lot about fish. I feel the overwhelming need to impress him. Hey, do you see that fish over there? That one? Yeah, that's the, um, that's the, uh, you know, the blue-nosed wiggly fish. <laughs> that's the blue-nosed wiggly fish. Now, I'm okay being a little goofy with Hugo. That's the blue-nosed wiggly oh. fish. Oh, yeah? Oh no, he liked it. Oh my. Oh, did you know that, um... What? Paranormal fish trivia, psychiatric fish trivia, political fish trivia. 
No, I don't want to deal with politics at all. Psychiatric fish trivia. Did you know that this is the only species of fish known to develop clinical depression? Wait, are you serious? Serious as a heart attack? We're talking fish here. There's no time for jokes. That's a that that's a clownfish. Oh, I should have been joke. I should have kept joking with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We let the kids to another room. Sharks, sea turtles, eels, and other marine life swim around in a massive floor-to-ceiling aquarium. The kids begin trying to take selfies with the shark. Hugo leaves my side to separate two kids fighting over a Capri Sun. I walk over the I walk around the room, reading the tiny little blurbs about different fish uh, inside of the enclosures. After a while, I look and see Hugo again. He is gazing up at the aquarium in childlike wonder. The ripples of the water cast blue moving shadows across his face, and for someone surrounded by angry hormon hormonal preteens, he looks completely peaceful. He actually looks really cute in this light. I hope he doesn't notice me staring. Oh. Wow. I walk over to join him. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd rather stare at you. We can learn a great deal from the ocean. Are those sharks kissing? We can learn a great deal from Mother Ocean. A great many mysteries lie in the ocean. It's truly fascinating to be able to observe it in a setting such as this. Oh my gosh, all of the eggplants. That's a very astute point, Charlie. We stand together for a moment, wondering the or admiring the wonders of marine life. We make our way to the touch tank room, which seems to be the only thing that the kids actually care about. The tank is filled with a variety of crabs, urchins, stingrays, and small fish. I stand around the edges of the tank and keep a wary distance from the sea life. Who knows what nefarious plans those horseshoe crabs have for my well-moisturized hands. Hugo rolls up his sleeve and sticks his hand in the water. Don't you want to pet some rays, Charlie? I think I'm good. I, I don't... I think I should just stay over here and admire them from a respectable distance. Come on, it'll be fun and informative. <sighs> don't make fun of me, but I am scared to touch them. I get weird when there's no glass. Uh, I don't know what any of those things are, but I get the feeling they will bite me and my... <sighs> they will bite me and my delicious hands if given the chance. Nothing in this tank can hurt you. The stingrays have had their barbs removed. The crabs only eat little crabs, and the anemones are perfectly safe to touch. <sighs> Against my better judgment, I approach the tank, slowly dipping my hand into the cold water. I touch a stingray as it glides past me. <sighs> See? Not so bad. It feels like fun, slimy leather. Things get a lot less scary when you learn about them, right? I dive my hand back into the touch tank with a renewed vigor for ocean life. I poke at some urchins and feel a hard carapace of a horseshoe crab. My hand brushes against Hugo's as we reach for the same ane anemone. I pull away, blushing. Hugo smiles. Hey, you're supposed to be touching the fish. Sorry. I just get a little carried away some time. Wait. That girl over there looks suspicious. Why? Oh. Are backpacks usually that wet? Hold on. Susan! Susan, get back here! Hugo runs after a middle schooler and catches her before she can make it to the exit. Wanna tell me what's in the bag? Uh, textbooks? Wanna tell me what's really in the bag? Susan won't budge. I walk over to Hugo and the girl. I might need- I think he might need a bad cop. Look, kid. We don't have time for games here. That's an easy 5 to 10 in the clink. I'm not afraid- Oh! We don't have time for games here. Whatever it is, it goes back in the touch tank now. You're not a teacher. You can't tell me what to do. I am. Put the bag down. Next time we won't say please. Susan glares at Hugo for a moment before dropping her book bag on the floor. It lands with a wet slap. We stare before it starts what? to move. Hugo leans down and unzips it. A horseshoe crab frantically scuttles out and across the floor. An employee swoops in, scoops it up, and places it back in the tank. She gives us a disapproving look. Oh, Jesus, Susan, what was your plan? I was trying to free him. To where outside, where he's going to uh. die? Susan, please go back to your group. We will discuss this later. Um, yeah, hands where we can see them. Susan sulks off, leaving me with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the uh. shoulder. Middle scores have sticky hands. I doubt that's the first time that's happened here. Or the last. In the next room, we see a variety of small tanks, sea urchins, tiny fish, and a rainbow of beautiful underwater plant life surround oh. us. Oh, look over there. Hugo points to some seahorses gathered at the bottom. One of them is in the middle of giving birth. 
That's actually the male seahorse. Sort of takes fatherhood to a new level, don't it? Kids, check this out. There's a male seahorse giving birth. A low murmur from the students. They just jump on their phones. Fun fact, male seahorses can even give birth and then get pregnant in the same day. Man, we thought we had it hard. I wonder if they have to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years too. However many thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life yes. here, though. It's not really my specialty, but I do take make a point to learn as much as possible whenever I can. I think that learning shouldn't end when you leave school. We should always challenge ourselves to find more about the things that we don't understand every day. Because if you stop learning, I don't think you'll ever be able to grow or change as a person. That's a good point. I still don't trust the ocean, though. Well, we'll get there. We finally make our way over to the favorite part, the Arctic exhibit. Do we get to see the penguins? Yes. Wow, that, that just totally got a, real too, a little too real. Yes, we get to see the penguins. Hell yes. Our group of kids run around the exhibits. They won't stop tapping on the glasses of the puffin enclosure, trying to get their attention. For at least a few moments, teachers, chaperones, and students alike seem to be having a great time. What was they worried about? Hugo grabs my arm. Oh my god, there's a student in the penguin enclosure. Okay, just kidding. It is very bad. Is it one of, our, of one of the employees? Over on the side of the enclosure, I see a door to the exhibit ajar. Was it unlocked this whole time? Oh, we gotta stop her before the staff sees her and bans this school for life. Hugo looks around. I'll create a distraction. Hugo runs toward the puffin exhibit and addresses the entire room. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I have an announcement. The whole room turns to Hugo. Here's a few facts I bet you didn't know about penguins. Everybody just stares at him confused. Well, this is my shot. I run into the enclosure and I'm greeted by a cold blast of air. Hey! The girl whips around to look at me. Her nose is pink from cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you. I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground is so icy, I just end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, but the girl still oh, laughs no. at me. Uh, contrary to popular belief, penguins are birds. Birds are, tr uh, can, are traditionally known to fly, but penguins cannot, so I cannot understand. So I can understand some confusion when discussing the birdness of penguins. The crowd is still enraptured somehow. Ken, what are you even doing? I'm letting the penguins go. They deserve freedom. Where are they going to go? They're going to live in my closet. Look, I don't even have time to argue about this. We just got to get out of here. Not until I save a penguin. Little known fact, penguins only live in cold climates. Uh, with some exceptions. So don't, so don't, uh, they don't all live in cold climates if you're splitting hairs here. Um, did I mention that they don't fly? The crowd's starting to lose interest. I am running out of time. Lay down the law. Try to relate to her. Bribe her. Oh, man. I don't want to deal with middle school kids. Middle school kids are the worst. Uh, if I try and lay down the law, she's not going to listen to me at all. Try to relate to her. She's going to be like, bribe her. I will give you 25, 20 bucks right now if you leave with me. Molly thinks for a second. Okay. Give it to me right now. I reach into my pocket and pull out everything. Examining each bill. All right. I have to make sure. Oh, no. How how do I what 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 is that? Why are the penguins like? How do I? What? Where? Where did they go? Where did it escape to? I am confused. How did you escape? No, 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 no. How did you escape? How are you getting by here? I feel like this is not something that should be working. This is not good. Oh boy, this is bad. This is bad. This is. Um, that was not good. That was not good at all. That was not, hey, hey, 13 was not, that was, um, that was not good. Seriously? That was a good score? Let's, uh, run through the, okay, um, I don't know what just happened there, I'm sorry. 
<sighs> okay. I'm glad that's over just in time, too. Looks like Hugo is wrapping up his uh, diversionary penguin oh. speech. And that's why I think penguins are one of the best animals in the whole world. A few people in the audience clap out of a sense of duty. Everyone starts dispersing. Hugo spots it from across the way and runs over. Molly, what were you doing in there? I was liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that penguins can only survive in Arctic temperatures, right? You could have had a pet dead penguin on your hands. Um, it, it was the thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. Molly turns to me. You owe me eight bucks. What? Just, I'll pay you later, kid. Molly runs off towards Susan, I suppose, so they can compare animal thief notes. You're not off the hook, Molly. Charlie, did you just bribe a child? I don't know what she's talking about. You can you can play by the rules when there's penguins on the line. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love that. You can't play by the rules when there's penguins on the line. I feel like that's something I would want to say. Listen, we've all done dark things in our lives. I'm not the young, bright-eyed youth that I used to be. That person believed in a world where you wouldn't have to bribe children to save penguins. Today, the me today knows different. I only wish I could go back. Let's just get through the day and get out of here. Uh, with the day finally coming to a close, a whole field trip is ushered through the gift shop, and we make our way back to the buses. As we leave the aquarium and the kids load onto the buses, Hugo pulls me aside. Hey, Charlie, thank you so much for helping out today. You are a lifesaver. Eh... It was actually kind of fun. Let me take you away next time to make it up to you. You like uh, cheese boards? Ooh. I love cheese boards. I am all about cheese boards. There is nothing on earth more satisfying than a good cheese board. I'm not going to go all superlative on him. I love cheese boards. Oh. Great. I'll make sure the kids don't steal anything else. See you around. I'll walk inside to find the house empty. Hmm. wonder where the panda's at. Before I know it, she pops in through the front door. What you up to? Eh, just doing some homework. How was the aquarium? It was an adventure. Some kid tried to steal a penguin. Oh, we've all been there. I had to run in and grab her before any of the employees saw. You got into the penguin enclosure? Did you steal one for us? Amanda, no penguins were stolen, thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. Vega. It was nice getting some time to spend... It was nice getting uh, to spend some time with Hugo, though. I'm surprised he helped co complete a covert op. He's usually kind of a... Kind of a what? Kind of a stick in the mud? He's actually pretty cool. I had a good time. Alright, too much adventure for me. I'm gonna go rest my eyes. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. You'll learn when you become a father. <laughs> Alright. I did okay on that. A plus. Ooh, I got an A plus from the instructor. Um. Yeah, not big on food. Okay. Huh, that was that was interesting. Welcome. 